Nigel, first of all, how do you think uh, today's launch event for the book went? Very successfully, Adam. Um, we were anticipating quite a lot of people coming here because originally, of course, there was the match on with Colm, which, of course, hasn't taken place. But uh, we've parted with 120 books today, which is phenomenal. There's been an incredible interest and the room was full throughout the one and a half hours. So great. And where did the, the initial idea of the, the book come from? Well, I suppose it went back to, uh, all the way back to, when was it, March uh, 14th, I think, when the Marine game, uh, the 1 0 win over there, um, brought the season in effect to, the, to an end. When, when the season was made null and void, uh, left a little bit of a gap in people's lives on a Saturday afternoon in particular. And I can remember watching some of the games that came on in, on YouTube. Uh, and, and one of them in particular went back to a time before I was supporting Rami. Uh, it was a Bolton Hospital Cup final. And uh, it made me think about the history of the club. Um, going back right the way to 1966 when Harry Williams and Dave Conliffe and Derek Reed founded the club and Harry of course has been the mainstay throughout the time from 1966 onwards and I felt uh, could I do justice to the whole period particularly the parts of the history of the club that weren't so well known and I was amazed by the amount of materials uh, that I was able to obtain from obviously Harry himself and stalwarts of the club who had the benefit of the club at their heart to want to pass materials on to me that I, I made good use of. And looking at, obviously you touched on it there, that you started this, this process in March and obviously we're, we're now into sort of the, the start of December. How has that process been for you? How long have you been spending on, on the book? Right, I started in effect in May, at the start of May, uh, I'd sounded out, such as Secretary Tony Cunningham, about the project and clearly uh, Harry gave it his approval and wanted to take part in it. And I started interviewing at the beginning of May, I would say, uh, it worked out over 60 different people connected with the club, either players, managers, fans, people working behind the scenes at the club. Uh, so I brought all this together and started the actual writing process um, July with an intention to finish by August. So I had a sort of uh, finishing point from the end of August and from that time onwards was concerned with issues like the production of the book, which of course came to fruition today with the launch. What's, what's been your, your favourite story from the from the book that, that people have told you? Well, there are lots of anecdotes relating to um, the inimitable Harry Williams uh, himself. And I had some of these on hand through uh, documents that I've read in the tea room, for example. But the, the main um, flavour I got of uh, Harry's way of dealing with things came from actually interviewing him and meeting with him and I can remember one particular time when it had been raining overnight and I was determined to be talking with him when he had to leave the room to check a bucket that he had put in a cubicle in a hospitality suite that our conversation was punctuated at regular intervals by him having to check whether that bucket was full or not and that's Harry's attention to detail which comes out in a sometimes obsessive way, but then that is his character because he has made the club what it is today. And whilst other clubs locally have folded at regular intervals, Ramsbottom United is the powerhouse it is today, thanks to the ways in which Harry has made sure that it not only continues in existence, but gets better from one decade to the next. And just finally, obviously, this is the, the fifth book um, you've written as, a, as an author. How does this book differ from the other books that you've had published? Well, the other four were novels, and in some ways, 
Harry, when he was reading through the book, said, oh, this has a touch of a novel about it. And uh, I've tried to make it come to life in a way that's not just about statistics, but it is a story. It is a history of a club. It has factual detail, so it's not a it's not a novel like the other four that I've produced before to this point. Brilliant. Cheers, Nigel. Thank you.